Guys, great job tonight. These things are done by teams, and I've got the best team in television. I'm going to make sure each and every one of you knows how important you are to me. This isn't our control room. No. Then screw it. <laughs> Actor Jeff Daniels is so good. He won his first Emmy Award for portraying a news anchor. We like that in Aaron Sorkin's hit series, The Newsroom. Now he's nominated for a 2019 Tony Award, his third one, by the way. Thank you very much. He stars as small town lawyer Atticus Finch in Sorkin's adaptation of Harper Lee's classic To Kill a Mockingbird. Now the story shines a light on racial prejudice in the Deep South by focusing on Finch's defense of Tom Robinson a black man wrongly accused of assaulting a white woman back in the 1930s. We have to show Tom Robinson justice in this courtroom. Now, we can start gathering the animals two by two because we'll be showing God's justice in a hurry. We can't go on like this. We know that. So let's hasten the change. Let's hasten the end of the beginning. Let's do it right now. In Maycomb. Let's begin by restoring this man to his family. Let's begin with justice. That's just one of the reasons he was nominated for a Tony Award. Good morning to you, Jeff Daniels. Good, Good morning, to have you yeah. back here. You know, and in the book and in the movie with Gregory Peck, Atticus Finch was flawless. In this particular adaptation, he's not so flawless. He's a human being. Yeah. Uh, Aaron Sorkin, when he uh, uh, wrote the play based on the book, uh, wanted to take the statue down. Mm -hmm. the, the point of view in the book is pretty much Scout looking up at the great father. And we wanted to kind of get eye, on eye level with him. And we always took the approach that he was a small town lawyer mm -hmm. who got paid in vegetables sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, he handled land dispute service agreements, foreclosures. That was it. And one day the judge comes over and changes his life. That's where we started, so that everything happens to him versus starting up here. You call it the role of a lifetime. Difficult yeah. for you to play? No, because I, it, you, you've been, I've been waiting for something like this forever. I've had great roles, yeah, you know, throughout yeah. the career, but the stars aligned. You got Sorkin writing it, Bart Shear directing it. It's the Schubert Theater, which is like the Carnegie Hall of Broadway. You're Atticus Finch, the fictional hero of, I mean, people think this guy's lived, he, that he was, I mean, and they, we, certainly the first month of the run, people came to the show with the book against their chest going, please don't ruin this, please don't, I mean, that's beloved. So to get the chance to play that kind of hero, that kind of iconic guy, and then to pull him off and make him human be, a human being where he has to change. He has to go through, he has to deal with his own beliefs. And uh, it's, it's a really, uh, it kind of peels the layers back of, uh, of Atticus. And Atticus has these um, beliefs that withstand everything around him, and that's what makes him the hero, and then that changes. And watching him, and it feels so contemporary, even though it was written in the 1930s. Oh, yeah. Sarkin did it beautifully. I mean, it's 34 Alabama, but it's today. I mean, Atticus believes that there's goodness in everyone. You just have to care enough to look for it. Well, that's up for grabs right yeah. now. Yeah. And Calpurnia and points out that that view ends up hurting other people more. Yes, it does. Calpurnia's got a voice. Uh, Tom Robinson has a voice. That, Which is different, too. Black characters back then did not have a voice. Not, no, uh, and it's hard to say what Calpurnia... And if, if Calpurnia and Atticus were brother and sister which is what their kind of relationship is over the years. Maybe they were able to do that. They didn't do it in the book. They didn't do it in the movie. But could that have existed? Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the play, she definitely has something to say. And she calls Atticus out. Yeah. She's, she's the one who goes, wait a minute. Hang on. You're wrong. Nine Tony nominations. I think To Kill Mockingbird has just been named the highest grossing Broadway play of all time. Yeah. What is it, do you think, about this cast that makes it such an incredible production? We, um, it's hard to do a play eight times a week, month after month after month after. We're in our seventh month. 
And there is a way to do it where you're, I call it the mule on the trail. You're just going, you're going down to the bottom of Grand Canyon again, and you really don't have to. And you're saying the speech, but you're really thinking about where you're yeah, going to eat. I <laughs> and I've seen that where people actually look like that. But no, we keep it alive. We stay yeah. in the same lane, head into the same place. We don't deviate staging or change staging, anything like that, but it's alive. If you throw it at me different today, I'm coming at you. Oh, oh, I'll be over here now. Great, mm -hmm. let's do it. And mm -hmm. it's alive. And the audience feels a vibrancy and an urgency. And uh, it's a little less, it's a lot less, we're going to go to you on Broadway. We're going to go to you, the audience. We're here, but we're going to go to you. Instead, it's we're here. You come here. Yeah. You come here. You come on stage with us. And we pull you in so that... You watch the movie, you read the book, you feel the play. And I think that's the big takeaway from Mockingbird on Broadway. People walk out changed, but they definitely are feeling something. They're thinking. Huh. Wow, I uh, like that. They're thinking. I went to it alone and walked out like I'd been hit by a, a, by a yeah. train. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and insisted everybody else in the family go see it. It is so powerful. And to, to weep in the seats is an amazing thing to create that kind of art that where the audience can react like that. You've done something amazingly special. We hear the weeping, too. We yeah, hear them weeping. Yeah, yeah lots very of annoying. But, <laughs> please tell Shut me up. I got a line to do. Yeah, when the nomination was announced and called your name, you did. You were awake to hear it, right? It did mean something. You weren't I, I, I tried to, but I had to sit there and go, <laughs> am I going to hear my name or not? Is this going to be a good six months or am I not getting it did. I was very happy to hear right. it. Round of applause. Yes. Jeff Daniels to Kill a Mockingbird on Broadway right now. We'll be right back.